so it's snow today but they're here two big old beds yeah it's snowed oh FedEx God. came it snowed hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shani I'm a wife and mom juggling this beautiful life of chaos so I just want to jump right into it we are redoing the girls room as you can see it's a complete mess a utterly complete mess my house has been ridiculous um and this was back in april when i decided to start this project um it took a lot of thought to do because we do plan to move and um we just weren't sure if we wanted to do it right away or if we wanted to wait some time so i just jumped right into it and getting this room cleared out um, the living room kind of became a bit of a mess because the girls would bring out their toys um, because they just didn't have enough room to play actually in their room. The room isn't that big, so we were only really able to fit maybe one or two beds. They did have bunk beds, um, if you've seen from our previous apartment, but it didn't transfer over well to the new house um, last year. So... We did what we could and now that I've decided to try to make this space a little bit more functional, we just grabbed the kids and made it a family function to clean out the house. Um, I'm not big on just cleaning their room myself. I will do a lot of organizing in their room, but I require them to at least put things where they go. So I make it a habit to start teaching them from a young age on where things go. Um, I'm very particular when it comes to putting things away so my girls typically know exactly what to do because I make places for them. Um, like I said this room is a hot mess and you'll see soon um, that it's like a nucleus of just everything that you can imagine um, in this house. We've had a, quite a few issues with the house um, so we weren't sure if we were going to go ahead and do it or if we were just going to wait until we moved. Believe it or not, this was about two weeks worth of not cleaning up. Um, I don't just let them make their room a mess, but sometimes I will say, I, I will be honest, I should say, I will not pay attention to their room. I will not go into their room and I will just walk away. But um, it became a bigger mess when I do that. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to. Um, it's been a lot going on with the house. So um and just family things in general so sometimes I get a little sidetracked I could I guess you can say and I mean that's mom life sometimes you can get it all done and sometimes you can't for the most part I'm not always able to get it all done by myself um but as you can see this is just a bigger mess when I do that am I embarrassed yes I'm very embarrassed this is not something that you want to share but I'm very big on realistic life and realistically kids are messy. They make a mess and unless you have a housekeeper, unless you're going into their room constantly, it can get messy. With Naomi, it was a lot easier to manage, but when you have multiple children, it can get a lot more chaotic, a lot faster. We have friends that are over, we have family that comes over, and yes, you try to clean up prior to them getting there, but once they leave, you usually are tired and you just let it go by. And that's pretty much what this is. It's a mixture of the girls just playing and doing what they do best. And then also friends coming over and playing, having the girls just go and do their own thing while I'm trying to work because I do work from home and the girls are homeschooled. So they spend quite a lot of time in their room um playing talking after they do homework and things like that so I mean it's justified that the room and the house gets really messy but we finally got to it if you can see on the side of the bed it's actually like juice that kind of fell on the side yes like I said I am embarrassed but it happens um I just made everybody really just get it done of course there was a lot of fussing because when you see these things you're like oh my goodness and I can't put it on the kids only. I can also put it on myself. If I wouldn't have waited, it probably wouldn't have gotten this bad. But like I said, mom life, sometimes you have the whiff span to make sure everything is good and clean and ready to go. And sometimes you just don't. And I don't always have it 
in me to get it done. Sometimes I have to just focus on specific rooms like the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room, you know, things like that. Um, and this was just a lot of t- little toys, honestly. My girls actually lost a lot of toys um, due to our basement flooding. So I gathered what we could um, that was not ruined and I tried to make do with it. But instead, it just became a lot of unnecessary knickknack toys. Um, and like I said before, this house is very old. So a lot of spots and things like that don't come clean, unfortunately. We were um, blessed to be in the house for the time being and we may do with what we have you know these are loft beds um they have a spacious bottom to the point where the girls beds aren't actually on the floor so i really really love this me and jermaine um put these together i am very specific as i've said in many other videos so you'll see me being the one to put things together because i just really enjoy it my husband's more of a pay someone to do it person and I am a, I can do it myself because I know how to do it. And so because of that, he does all the heavy lifting and I do the delegating on where I want things to go. Um, so it works out for us. What works for us may not work for everyone else. It may seem like something different to you, but it works for us. As you can see, the girls slept in the bed together and we were able to get both beds up and start putting in toys. Hi guys. Get down. No, I'm on here. And as you can see, I'm back sweeping and cleaning up the room. I went and got a couple of extra little things like a rug and a table to put inside of the room. And like I said, the room can get jumpy so fast. My girls are home almost 24-7. Um, typically, they go out on Wednesdays and Fridays for church. And then on the weekends, they go over to family and friends' house if they ask or if they ask for them. So my girls, they spend a lot of time in their room. It gets jumpy really fast, and I have to come in and clean up sometimes. I thought I would be embarrassed about the blinds, but in reality, like I said, my kids are kids they if you can see they are very happy kids so the blinds are a mess typically all of my rooms that are accessible to the kids the blinds are chaotic or broken one of the most exciting parts of this update of the room um, is that Riley my three-year-old she actually started to clean up and I don't mean just throw things here and there she actually started putting on her princess dress coming in, putting away toys, she would grab a broom and start sweeping. And I think that her being a part of the process of cleaning up and seeing where things go and seeing the organization of it made her realize, oh, this is how you clean up. In a past video, a few past videos, I told you guys that Jermaine was in truck driving school and he officially passed at the beginning of May. And with that, he's now on the road, OTR. So that means it's just me and the girls pretty much. So as I stated at the beginning of the video, there is an update and that update is we have officially moved. We moved in with my sister and my niece and the girls all now share a bedroom. As you can see, these beds worked out perfectly and gave them the perfect amount of space. But stay tuned for the future updates. See you soon.